uh, play of the game from way down. Look, two, silence. The Rainer getting absolutely a team wipe. The living bombs going. Oh my goodness, the ring. Bob says they go gonna find Rainer. Keeps Maya up. It was gonna be a close thing. And he like, what? Get out of no! No! Triple stun again. Big flanks coming out from the uh, blaze. It's a death metal though. Death yeah. metal into oh, the double my. triple kill. All right, welcome back, everybody, <laughs> to <laughs> game number two, <laughs> match number two on the Sunday replay. Uh, we're going to be watching another Div D West game between Full Meta Jacket and Backbone Crimson Shadow. You guys need more uh, speaking effective names, okay? Like, yeah, these are cool, but you know how hard it is to say that like eight times? <sighs> Yeah, just wait. Uh, well, you're not gonna. You don't have to get the the fun ones. We've got some uh, coming up here later that are gonna be even, uh, a bit more of a mouthful. Uh, let's see. So, Butte is holding up her shirt to uh, try to show everybody what apparently is on this. I have no clue what that's about, but maybe one of you guys do. Well, looks like you won't be getting any bonus smiles, Arrow. So... That's okay. Do you know what? You know what smiles I got? Your doggies. I was gonna say my doggies, but I guess I don't even have that. I have one that's passed out below me. Oh. All right. Uh, so game number two, uh, or match number two, full meta jacket and backbone CS. I'm ready. Are you ready? I'm ready. I'm always ready, Arrow. That's right. insulting that you would even ask me. Which uh, which team do you want to introduce? Um. Hmm. The easier one to say. Whoever's on the jacket? blue team. We All talked right. about this, Arrow. All right. You got the blue team then. God. Let's get this going. It's like he doesn't even listen to me. What'd you say? <laughs> there we go. Dragonshire. I feel like I haven't seen that one in a while. Uh, so we do have map bands on this one, so I'm going to pop over to the map screen real quick here. Come on, map screen. Let's go. You can do it. You're doing well, great. Let's go. There we go. So map bands were Brax's holdout Sky Temple coming out from Backbone. Uh, BOE and Infernal Shrines, they don't like those Diablo maps uh, oh. coming out from Full Meta Jacket and then Dragonshire. So, game is ready to go. Are these names correct? Uh, I think so. <laughs> uh, yeah, <laughs> okay. they, no, they definitely are, because I, I know that uh, Blue Steen is on. <gasps> oh my gosh! Okay, I'm super excited. All right. On Orphea, our favorite Nexus babe, we have Jugger Rob on Diablo, Runtime Logic, Barber uh, playing Rainer. On Oriel, the greatest character in this game, we have Modus Trollin and Rexar being played by Undead752, not to be confused with 751. Indeed. <laughs> and for Backbone CS, we've got Lilo Bell on Brightwing, Exorcist on Li Ming, Simulationist on Johanna, Chen's going to be played by Elisa Rip, who I apparently got to play against last night, and Vitamin <laughs> D going to be playing Falstad. Got some good poke coming out of Li Ming here. That's what you like to see. So we got that bribe build out of Falstad, going for those camps, getting that extra lightning uh, build damage. Some good poke. You just said that. No, 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 coming out of uh, full meta jacket. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I meant to say. I, I didn't specify. I, had to... <laughs> I don't actually have Butte Holiday here today. I just have a Butte Holiday soundboard. You have a... you. <laughs> Some good poke. <laughs> Some good poke? Hello? See? Someone make a soundboard of me. I don't say funny things. So we've got a ping for the... Uh, Bruiser camp there. There's some uh, interesting starting uh, rotations. Um, yeah, it's a, it's a little bit all over the place. For uh, at least for Backbone CS here, um, and so Rex are in the top lane versus Chen. Uh, bear versus bear action. You know, uh, <laughs> listen. All I'm saying is Ricky Gervais would be happy right now. Bear on bear action. Yeah. We have 
unstoppable out. Uh, Brightwing with uh, the phase shift down now at this point. Panda on panda action. <laughs> yep. Well, not quite panda on panda. Runtime logic dives in Basically. onto the Brightwing, but Lilo walks away. But right now, it's going to be the channel is available here for full meta jacket. Got some good lane pressure there. Uh, Joanna, a little bit in trouble. Popping that iron skin might nice. not make it away. Real. That yeah. was a good stun by the Oriole uh, onto their own tower. And with uh, with that detainment strike, this should give them the clear to get the Dragon Knight. Interesting build on Oriole. I can't tell what those are. The different colors reduces the cooldown and yeah, increases she did not radius. take yeah, okay. repeated offense, which is uh, a knock, an additional twenty five percent knockback um, on your E, um, and you get essentially a damage bonus after stunning six people. So mm -hmm. maybe it's it's more for energy management. Uh, that makes that makes a lot of sense. But a quick Dragon Knight uh, from Full Meta Jacket heading bot lane. Yeah, and I do, um, sometimes I'll take that talent if I know that I'm going to be able to... Hey, nice for you to wake up. Um, <laughs> if I know that I'm going to be able to, you know, hit people repeatedly, especially if I'm looking for, like, a blind or something. For sure. So, the extra radius, the cooldown reduction does give them some potential... Oh, nice stun. Nice combo there. Yeah, that was a good charge stun. I'm a little surprised they didn't opt to go on the bot side of this wall to try to get the well, but they might be able to push into it right now. Um, this makes me so happy that Oriole's in this game. I just <laughs> want to point that out. Bear on bear, question mark? Barely. Barely? <laughs> I'm surprised they're not uh, opting for... Oh, they're, they're going to opt for... An invade, which, uh, yeah, that, that works. Polymorph Down might just have saved Simulationist, but nope. never mind. Orphia says nope. Yeah, just barely gets Not a caught by that E. This I don't remember what that's called. Dread? Dread wave or something yes. like that? Yes. Dread, yes. So what do we got going up here in the bear lane? <laughs> Rexar at a bit of a pickle. Chen might be able to finish him. Misha says no, not my man. <laughs> nah, I protect him. Uh, full meta jacket in the bot lane, grabbing that uh, neutral uh, bruiser camp. Yeah, and top camp gonna be picked up by Backbone, so both of them uh, getting some camp value here. Mm -hmm. Falsta did take bribes, so yeah, he uh, used I one think stack. that'll be really effective uh, late game. Um, when you need to take now? a rapid camp, or maybe you're taking a riskier camp. So I think that'll be really beneficial for them late game. And he's currently sitting at one stack. Uh, he used one on the top camp. So this is looking really strong for full meta jacket. A little surprised what Joanna's out. doing right now. Just, uh, just chilling, preventing the additional wave. It really doesn't matter, I guess, because uh, they had the camp push in anyway. Yeah, ultimately. Uh, the maybe rotation? Nope. I don't know why I thought they were <laughs> in mid lane. Yeah, Just so they'll get the go. they'll get the siege camp in the bottom, which will give them some pressure. Um, the top bruiser camp is still providing value, so Chen's gonna be able to get onto the point. So Red's gonna be able to at least have the option to channel, but at least for right now. Oh, look at this. No, no, that's a. That was a little lucky. surprised on that fly. I know. I know they were trying to do a, you know, a quick cap here, but uh. Hold up, Chen. Yep. Big rotation into the top lane to catch that Chen as Orphea is trying to keep them uh, from gathering the point here. Mm -hmm. I think Diablo does have souls, so that'll be good. Quick rotation bot lane to uh, alleviate some uh, pressure on Orphea, allowing her to maybe tap. Yep. Go back. Li Ming still uh, playing around in the bot lane. They might be able to get this bright wing. And it looks like uh, they do. Didn't quite get the stun, but didn't need it as they do have level 10s online and uh, backbone does not quite yet. So interestingly enough, we do see the Eternal Feast, which I don't know. I 
I mean, uh, there are times for Eternal Fleece. I don't think they have enough serious lockdown for it. Yeah, I would agree with that. I think, uh, uh, yeah. I mean, maybe with certain areas of close quarters and some stuns and APOC, but I mean, honestly, APOC isn't that consistent of a uh, of a lockdown there at all. So um, we do see Diablo and Rexar going down. Uh, splitting off a little bit. Uh, yeah, Rexar up there in the top got caught with the Chen and... Alstead, no Rainer. mana. And is going to get taken out with uh, Oriel and Rainer, yeah. Wolfia. Jaina, or I'm sorry, Johanna going back to fill back up. So they still, even with those two deaths, they managed to pick off the Falstad and now they're back in the in the driver's seat. And right wing taking uh, Emerald Wind, which I think is uh, also a, a great pick um, on the side of Backbone. BB. <laughs> that might be easier to just say. Could be. So Falstad coming in behind him, he does have the Hinterlands Blast. Hits oh, that two. hit three or four. I think. Oh, Chen. Maybe. Stop it, Chen. Stop it, Chen. So Diablo and Rainer having to get out. Modus trolling, trying to get out using the <gasps> Eternal oh, Feast as a zone. You just buy. Oriel's like, nah, I'm good. That still almost was uh, a big problem because the enemy team, Exorcist there on Li Ming, throwing in that living, or not living bomb, but the, uh, the arcane orb, but along with the arcane missiles, nearly sent her packing. A lot of damage there. I've become more of a lover of uh, Wave of Force now that I've seen some higher level players use it. I used to automatically take uh, Disintegrate, but I definitely see the value of it. But uh, I don't really know if uh, Wave of Force would have had that much more value than Disintegrate uh, against this comp and on this map. So. Yeah, I mean, it provides some displacement, and especially at level 20, it can help you to really isolate heroes. Um, so I, I really like Wave of Force. Juggerob in uh, danger here on Orphea gets winded away, but is able to use that Q and just dance her way back to safety. There may be a uh, top lane may be in trouble here, but they opt to uh, quickly cap it, which is good, uh, preventing the uh, quick cap of the dragon. So each side now has control of the opposite ends of the map. Exorcist very low. Rainer's still able to have that movement oh, speed. Might all oh, misses oh. the penetrating round. Can't miss those penetrating rounds. Take notes. <laughs> That's okay. Um, see, I didn't. I didn't swear, so I still have my one today. Well, we still have our one. I should say. Uh, they're Indeed. quickly rotating top lane. Uh, maybe being able to catch out. That's a lot of pressure, top lane. <laughs> I was waiting for chat to catch up to that. I was like, oh, jeez. <laughs> All right, Chen coming in onto the Rainer is going to get some pretty significant damage there, but gets booped away up above, Interesting. though. Brightling trying to keep Falstead alive. Oh, that is a blessed shield out. Whoa, that's a lot of damage. And Backbone might be in trouble here. Yeah, and Johanna Lilo and Johanna Brightwing uh, end up going down. Juggerob right in the thick of things. That's a good ping on the Orphea. Reminding people to kill her. That's a lot of pressure, but I mean, it's a little camp, but he, he, there, you're doing good work. You're doing good work, little siege camp. Now the Dragon Knight going over to uh, Full Meta Jacket once again. Lane. Trying to, uh, uh oh, secure the uh, <laughs> top fort. I know I did not either. Um, see, okay. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna nerd rage a little bit here. Uh oh. There's no value to this. You already have a siege camp that's doing value in the bot lane. Like it's already, you could easily get that bottom keep. So, uh, like this is, this is gonna get you catapults sometimes. You're not likely oh, to an go after the wind keep. coming out. Uh. I think they should have just gone through mid, cleared mid, gone to bottom, gotten that keep. I am a little surprised they didn't just grab mid. It takes, uh, you know, took hot two seconds to grab. Um, and here they are opting to uh, rotate back to bot. 
Yeah, I'm, I'm not uh, I'm not sure, to be honest. I think maybe to secure more pressure uh, with the... Oh, the pings. Um, points. Calling uh -oh. for Orphea. Always but calling for Orphea. Misha in the Always. back, though, is going to... The Dragon Knight's still uh, pretty healthy, but only five seconds left. They may be able to uh, secure this keep here. I'm a little surprised they weren't more hardcore focusing on the keep, but Looks like they're they going to end up it getting now. it. Yeah. There you go. Diablo deep in by himself. Looks like oh, Chen's gonna knock him Chen, off. Chen! Oh, oh my god! Way. Oh no. Well, uh, he did not have souls. He was 10 short, so, yeah. um. Has he died in this game? He had to have died, right? Uh, yes. Okay. yes. I'm gonna say, there's I no way you get to level 16. Souls without souls. All right, so we've got Chen up in the top lane. I, so they did end up getting this keep, but I, I think that they could have gotten that keep more safely. Like, they don't have to lose the Diablo there. Yeah, I mean, my, get, my guess is that it was to... Um, I mean, at this point now, you know, Backbone has nothing to go back on at the points. They have no place to run, no fountain to go to, so... Um, and easy, you know, ganks from behind. Uh, so I think maybe that that that's if I were guessing, that's what they would be going for. Um, but yeah, I mean, your point is totally valid. Maybe taking two hits, grab that mid fort, and then go immediately to bot um, and grab that keep and back off and be able to secure all the camps. So yeah, and if they were even going to do that, they could have done it in reverse order. They could have gone to the you know, taking sure. the bot keep, pulled back, and then got on top. But charge in from Diablo, gets the Chen stun flip and killed. And much the same looking at Johanna as uh, she's going to get. I think uh, Johanna's been a little bit uh, liberal with her uh, iron skins this game. Um, almost putting them out kind of immediately before any CC comes out. It's um, a great dread wave from Orphea to slow down the Li Ming and ultimately cause her to go woo. backwards. I love Orphea. Orphea is super fun. Do we see them go for core here? Like, if they don't go for core, I don't like them being here necessarily. I, I mean, they're gonna hopefully kill this Brightwing. I mean, Emerald yeah, Wind they, uh, is not out. They definitely go core here. They they should be able to finish this uh, unless Falstead or Chen is able to. I mean, you know, this is this is where you got to be careful here. You only have one. You only took down one keep. And so if any displacement is able to put you in the lines of those two towers or those two keeps, I mean, at the end of the day, it doesn't matter, but that's something to note. You know, if you only have, if you only took down one keep, any displacement, you'll, you're taking free damage from two keeps. Right. But it didn't matter. They were able to secure it. They were able to finish. Um, poor Orphea. <laughs> as, as you always, you know, want to, right? Uh, so... <laughs> the map was selected by Full Meta Jacket, as uh, Moist Venus requested in chat. Porphia. <laughs> Porphia. <laughs> Porphia. Please. So, just a quick look at the talents there up to level 16. Is that Dreadwave? Is that what it's called? Oh, it's just called Dread. Okay, yeah, cool. Dread. Dread. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. I mean, I'm, I'm, I am surprised about the Eternal Feast. I don't think they got too much value, but at the end of the day, you know, if, if it's a, um, what am I trying to say here? Like, if it, if it discourages say. them from, from coming in or pursuing the team fight further, maybe that's the value they got from it. Um, but yeah, other than that, um, Oreo build is a new Oreo build. I may need to try that personally, um, but. Yeah, I think, uh, I honestly, I'd love to see off meta heroes, especially things like Oriel. I think, um, I think it was great. Um, the Aegis was helpful, I think more for herself and, um, healing, I mean, stayed pretty even with Brightwing. So that's, that's always good. Um, and the stuns were great to secure that CC chain. So, I mean, good game, uh, all around, but, um, yeah, that's all I gotta say. All right, then. Yeah, if you want to see some off meta heroes, go look at uh, Div B, where there's currently chat about how much uh, uh, Ragnaros is undervalued oh, in the meta and yada yada, oh. so on and so forth. Um, so, uh, our next game is going to be on Tomb of the Spider Queen. Oh my god, I'm not gonna lie, guys, I'm really sick of this map. <laughs>
I'm really sick of this map. Stop banning Braxis. That's all I gotta say. Yeah, actually, Stop let's take a look Braxis. at those uh, maps here. As I put up the wrong thing. So, did I... I did not put Tomb of the Spider Queen up yet. So, Tomb of the Spider Queen. And this one was picked by... Backbone. So they selected uh, for a map pick. And that's it for the maps, so... Oops, wrong one. Alright, so... Um, I've got the teams all set up. I've got the maps detailed out. Uh, yeah, I think... I think I'm good to go. You good to go for game number two? Arrow. I'm always ready to go. I don't have any more meat to eat, so yeah, I'm ready to go. All right, well, let's get this started. <laughs> Hello to everybody watching this replay. <laughs> it was like, what the heck? Yeah, you guys need to really stop banning Braxis. It's a really good map, okay? It makes me really sad. But at least we're seeing some level of variety. You know, I, all I remember is in, in Div A last season, nobody ever picked Alterac. It was always banned. So people were like, how do I play this map when they got it in quick play? So glad we're seeing some consistency and some variety. Oh, Oriel again. Yay. Spoiler. <laughs> oh, some Skinnergy, uh, some Mount Skinnergy there on behalf of Full Meta Jacket. Oh, gross. Slugs, though. I don't like the way they move. Fair enough. Well, start maybe they'll off. get into a team fight. We might as well start it, as we saw the last mm -hmm. game. All right, so we got Jugger Rob on Mephisto, Runtime Logic playing Diablo, Barber playing Vala, Modus Trollin on Oriel, Hala, and Undead752 playing Urel. All righty. And for Backbone CS, we have Simulationist going to be running Garrosh. Exorcist on Gul'dan, Vitamin D on Cassia, Lilobel on Malfurion, and Elisa Rip on Tychus. Body check coming out from Garrosh, a talent that was basically never picked uh, until relatively recently. And Tychus already starting bottom, uh, getting that, some of that soak while they kind of... Uh... I don't want to say joke around mid lane, but, you know, just a little tease. Yeah, I mean, they're uh, working on getting the Gul'dan and Mephisto stacks up. Mm-hmm. And Tychus uh, able to just sit here with his minigun on Yorel for a bit. I think that Tychus is, uh, might be a problem for Full Meta Jacket. Uh, but we'll see. Maybe they're able... Whoa, that was a throw? That was that was a little bit odd. These boys are shoving each other around. <laughs> yeah, the watching... The dove. Yeah, watching the Garrosh, uh, you know, you throw a Diablo, he shoves you back, and then you get flipped, and yeah. It's and... like a bar fight. Like, you don't even know what's happening. Uh, some good rotations. Uh, maintaining that soak. Pretty, pretty even, I believe. Uh-oh. So we do uh -oh, have the rotation in... And nah, uh, Vitamin D it. coming down, getting some additional poke damage there onto the team. Mm -hmm. What are our stacks looking like? Eight for the uh, Skull for Mephisto, eight for the Echo Corruption. Let me see so that how, same does, uh, how does Yorel do against a Tychus? I don't play offlane, so... Uh... <sighs> I mean, I don't either, but... I, I play Tychus fair enough, uh, for, or often enough, um, so I feel like ultimately... Whoa! What am I <laughs> Longest ranged stun ever, all right. Noted, combine the Oriole stun with the Diablo charge. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> anyway, continue, sorry, that was just really weird. Yeah, no. Uh, so yeah, no, I think, um, I think that ultimately we have our answer. There you go. So what I was going to uh, say is that I think Urel has the mobility to counter the fact that Tychus is ranged. Simulation is in a bit of trouble here as he's surrounded by blue health bars. Is also going to go down right at his gate. Um, so anyway, she has the mobility, she has self-healing, she has the stuns. Um, so she has a lot of ways to deal with the fact that Tychus can, you know, attack from range. And also his range is relatively short. 
for a ranged assassin. So, you know, as soon as he pops his minigun, she just throws out her um, hammer slam, whatever it's called, to mm. stop him, and, and a lot of his value goes away, which he's got right now. So he's trying to get some damage on her now, now there, but as you can see, she just walks away. And that only gets worse for Tychus as the time goes on, depending on the talents that she takes. Although it looks like she's sticking with that uh, Avenging Wrath build. This might be a little bit of <laughs> I was gonna say this might be a little bit aggressive for both of them. I could see both of them ultimately finding a way to the graveyard with that. But this is the camp that Garrosh died for, so that they could take it. So uh, ultimately, they did not get any structure damage. The throw onto Diablo, Mephisto coming in after his nice. teleport there. Nice. And once again, Garrosh in danger here. Uh oh. This time he makes it out. Oh my gosh! Wow, that was uh, that was some good peeling from uh, everybody. Some good heals by Malfurion. Speaking of Malfurion, I'm a little uh, I'm a little surprised by the level one uh, choice there, um, taking rejuvenation. Um, but hey, I mean, extra self healing. I guess that self-sustain may be necessary. I'm not quite sure. Um, I never usually take that talent, but I think Strangling Vines will be really good, especially against Oriole if uh, she's going to prioritize those in those uh, in that route. Oh, here so comes Yurel. Yeah. Uh -oh. Malfurion, low mana. But Garrosh may just be the, the focus here. Yeah, he can get the throw, but he's just surrounded. And even with that increasing armor, he's got a relatively low health pool. Mm -hmm. But he's giving them a run for their money. As uh, it looks like he just might make it out. Using that bloodthirst to keep himself alive. They just don't have the damage right oh. now with them. The damage split off, Vala split off uh, to stay in the mid lane. I, I'm not quite sure who she was pursuing, but... They ended up getting them. I think they've done a great job focusing on that Garrosh, who I'm not saying has been out of position, but has been definitely aggressively positioned, trying to get a throw. Um, and they've been, uh, they've not been letting him do that, um, which I think is uh, great on them, so. Yeah, and ultimately Garrosh just got himself killed with that too, because mm -hmm. he threw Diablo behind him, and that allowed Diablo and Yerelda to finish him off. But the root probably uh, saves Exorcist there, allowing him to back away from the Diablo. Oh my goodness, <laughs> that is quite unfortunate. Yeah, that teleport uh, shade, uh, whatever it's called. Oh, oh these Mephisto are a lot alive. of low health bars on the side of uh, Backbone here, but I'm not sure if you're full meta jacket, if you uh, go, oh my god. <laughs> Garrosh throw, I wouldn't throw them into my little low health team. Yeah, at this point, like, this is... They still have some web weaver activity. They don't have a lot of minion activity though. So Ariel does have a full bar of energy. So this is this is a top fort for sure at this point. Mm -hmm. And mid fort. And um, you know, simulations keeps throwing the Diablo, and Diablo is just not who you want to throw. I mean, at the yeah, very no. least, he can just charge back out through you. I mean, I worst. think, and that's when you gotta be, you gotta be somewhat patient. I mean, you know, the the DPS on the side of Full Meta Jacket have not been playing very aggressively to put themselves in a poor position. Poor position is not the right word, but an aggressive position. However, I think the opportunity comes when people split off. Like in that last team fight, we saw Vala staying mid lane, maybe trying to poke the Gul'dan or something. Um, so that might be an opportunity where you do that. But um, I think a little bit aggressive and. Diablo's just like, throw me, dude. I don't, you know, come at me, demon, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that's a that's a good point. I, I can't stand these slugs. I really can't. <laughs> just... Yeah, red on our team also has an issue with that. It's worse, so. than, the, it's worse than the crabs and Rec knows I hate the crabs. Oriole so, soloing this camp. You go, girl. Ultimates coming out here. We've got the Durance of Hate, uh, Apocalypse, Brain of Vengeance. I think that's what it is. Rain of Engines? Yeah. yeah. Uh, yep. Crystal Aegis and... The heck is the I, URL one I call again? Arden I Defender. Love I know that. I love Durrance. I think it's uh, very underused. I think it's uh, very good. And I mean, that combos with the uh, with the APOC, so... 
Uh oh, the fear coming out on Vala. Silence from Malfurion, but I I don't think he gets out of this alive. Uh, Vala with the stun follow up. Oh my gosh, Durance. Wow, they're just, uh. They are just chaining these. The Tychus, uh. Oh, the gun's down, so no threat there. So, uh, yeah, that ball lightning got a lot of value as well, but ultimately, you know, the Vala finishing the kill there, so. Oh my god, you're well. And, yeah, exactly, you know. I, you have to keep in mind that this is a very aggressive front line in the URL and Diablo, and if you are close to anything, you're just going to die. Um, mm -hmm. They don't they don't care. If, you know, sticking around for too long cost uh, Gul'dan's life, a little bit of staggered death there, but there's not anything that they can really do. You know, they're not defending anything at this point, but they do have a huge minion wave up in the top lane uh, that it looks like um, looks like Full Meta Jacket's just going to lose it, and now we've got Mephisto going up, so... Yeah, definitely. I think the, uh, for me personally, as a support, I prefer uh, compositions with as much peel potential as possible. Um, that doesn't necessarily mean, you know, two super tanky people, um, but, you know, I think on the side of Backbone, I think they're, uh, they're lacking that potential uh, in comparison to Full Meta Jacket. Um, however, I think Full Meta Jacket definitely has that super offensive peel where you know if you can get in the back line and allow your dps to move up um and you guys get kills maybe trade one um i think that's a lot that's been really worth it and the url's been uh, definitely um definitely worth it this game yeah and url again taking that avenging wrath has a bunch of towns help but lilo they're in a bit of trouble uh -oh. the throw onto Oreo, Oreo. finally the trying to get the wall throw. down i don't know if they do they do not, but uh, at the end of the day, I mean, they trade a Garrosh for an Oriole, so it looks like uh, Backbone has no uh, tank right now, so... Yeah, they have no front line at all, really. I mean, Cassia and, and Tychus are both short-range uh, assassins, but they don't, they don't provide the value that you need, and, uh, you know, with as much pressure as they have in these lanes, nah, I, they can't end, right? This isn't that short of a game. I don't know, I mean... URL. She still has Ardent Defender, though. She can walk away. I mean, I would back off and opt for another... I mean, they're, I don't think they're healthy enough to... Uh... Yeah. I think if they were three quarters, and I think if Oriole had a little bit... Uh, was a little bit closer, maybe died a little bit earlier, I think uh, maybe they would have had a chance, but... Or if Oriole hadn't be able died to, at all. Uh... Exactly, yep, for sure. Um, they get two keeps. And depending on how this fight goes, they may even go three, and if they get a kill, that could Urel be Urel the... just is like, hit me, please. Yeah. Simulationist well, getting out with dozens of hit points. And the detainment strike, keeping Tychus locked down and Oriole safe there. So not quite going to get this bottom keep. So two and 0.9 keeps out of the Webweaver push. For I mean, that's jacket. the best situation you could... I mean, you know what? Really? Like, that keep, you know, a, a little push, and they, they're going to get it. But I think at the end of the day right now, they're trying to secure their camps. They know they have map control, a lot of map control. And at this point, Backbone just needs to, uh, you know, bandage what they can and prevent them from... Uh, oh, they might take this fight, because they... Yeah, so they're missing oh, two sets of 5v3 right now, ultimately. Horrify is down, as is mini, as is uh, what's it called? Uh, Lady drill. Drill, yeah. Dragon. Uh oh, oh no. There's the Durance. Oh no. Three. And nice uh, Aegis right there coming out of Oriole. Simulation oh, is very low. Yeah. May end up getting killed here by Diablo, and does so now. Followed up by the Tychus and uh -oh. Exorcist does the Bob only live? one. Di Whoa! <laughs> oh hey Diablo, <laughs> when did you show up? That's so, like when you're talking about somebody and then like they just show up and you're like, where did you come from? That's exactly what that's like. Full so now team wipe. And they've got a mage going into this. So they have enough for web weavers. Honestly, you know, if they didn't, if they weren't going to go court, then they grab this uh, extra camp. They turn in all their gems and they win the video game. For sure. For sure. Thank you, Weenus, for the bits. Oh my God! Do you guys know any other uh, any other uh, amount of event sixty nine? Please. Yeah, he did one the other day. Because he wanted uh, he wanted to be in first place. That was oh my God! That made me so sad. <laughs> Don't remind me of that. 
I I didn't. That was another that was another situation. Maybe so we see them going through the top. They have level 16 advantage, full meta jacket does. Full Q build coming out from Mephisto, and you know, this is this is their game to lose at this point. They're, they're gonna have two web weavers coming right onto the core. They have all of their ults. Both sides do. Uh, 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 not Furion, uh, uh, far away from his team. I'm a little confused there, I'm not gonna lie. Vala taking a lot of damage right now, but uh, Oriel likely able to uh, keep her alive there. The cool group's damage. a little bit split, but uh, Cassia will go down. Yeah, Gul'dan got caught by that Durance also locking down the Garrosh. I think this may be game. I, it, I mean, I don't want to call it early, well, yeah. but... Uh, you know, you got three spiders, so if you're, uh, if you're, if you have a phobia of spiders, it's not looking good for you. Winus, there's absolutely nothing wrong with 69 bits. She was just wondering, you know, if you had some variety. If you knew any other numbers, like count from one to ten for me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. So, uh, you know, I, listen, I'm, I'm not gonna say that talent choices were necessarily the, the end of this game, but definitely different talents than you see from many of these heroes you don't often see like with the echo corruption going into the life drain uh there you go six and nine. Oh my god we yeah <laughs> we just outsmarting the butte holiday right there oh man <laughs> oh i'm so um, proud of you Venus. so yeah so like we see some different garage talents like i don't mind necessarily the body check um you know uh, it, it has a place, it, it negates the healing, so okay, fair. Um, but the with the Diablo, with the Yorel, and potentially that Durance, going in for the kill, getting that um, that increased damage out of Bloodthirst and resets, I, just, I think that was probably not the right pick. I think that if you go with the Indomitable, you get so much more value. I just think they went so hard on the offensive. I think that they, I mean... What is it called? Is it Into the Fray where you can throw? Mm -hmm. I mean, I, that talent is just, it's so good. It's so good for peel. It has offensive potential. I just think they're lacking the peel. And I just think that they're they're so offensive heavy on the scale that when they're forced to kind of like, you know, be on the defensive, they're at a huge disadvantage. Yeah. Um, especially yeah. from a tank whose job it is to, you know, initiate, but also you know, peel for your back line. So, but you know what? At the end of the day, it's not just on Garrosh. I think overall, you know, they took fights a little bit late. They looked uncertain. Um, they weren't able to peel for their teammates. They got caught out. Um, it was just, you know, well played um, yeah. on the end of Full Meta Jacket to take advantage of, you know, all of that. But so. Well, that's uh that's the end of our second match today so we're gonna be saying goodbye to butte holiday here in a few moments oh wait time out time out you guys never guessed my shirt and you know what it makes me really sad because it's monster hunter monster hunter world i got this from japan i was surprised you guys wouldn't get that thought you would but no bonus smiles unfortunate um sorry chat you lost today oh Oh, and Weenus going full oh, 666 no, in Venus. chat. Uh-oh. <laughs> well, Butte, thank you very much for uh, joining me for these casts. Uh, anything you want to say to the population out there before we come yeah, back um, with Yeah, I just want to shout out Recyclic, uh for being an amazing support coach and for being a true master, a fishing master. Um, those of you that see him, call him Master Recyclic. Uh That's his preferred term. <laughs> Preferred title, <laughs> Rick. Um, and I just want to say thanks to everybody for being super supportive. This is my first time casting, not today, but um, second ever. Yeah, basically. So, uh, any like I said before, any feedback is welcome. I appreciate it. Um, yeah, thank you to Arrow for letting me join you. All right, absolutely, guys. We'll be back in a few minutes here with Recyclic. Our next game coming Woo! up. What is our next game coming up? You know, I can put out of this and tell you guys. Next game coming up is going to be... I can tell you it's a Div D game. Let's see. Oops. Game three. Camino Saber Darts versus uh, Yavapai County Youth Chess and Swim Team. Where do you people come up with these names? <laughs> I gotta know. 
I'll be in chat, so if you want to chat with me in chat, I'll be supporting these right. two guys and their awesome cast. So have Good fun. Deal. Thank you much. Uh,